Welcome to my channel YouTube, it's your boy Steven and in today's video we're going to do a day in the life of being an electrical apprentice when I'm going to share my entire day with you guys and let you guys know kind of what we do on a day to day basis I'm not really sure what the plan is for the day uh, but whatever I am doing I'm going to share with you guys and kind of let you guys know uh, I'm excited to do something a little different uh, if you guys do like this type of content let me know in the comment section below and hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe. I thank you guys for all of the support. Truly appreciate it. Um, but yeah, let's get into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's go. Right now, got to terminate all of these wires. Everything that we have at the bottom is going to have to be lined up here. Terminated into the correct section. So that's really what my job is today. Uh, it's going to be a slow one. Steady one, but I make sure all this is done correctly so we ain't got no mishaps. But uh, that's the plan, that's the goal. And um, yeah, let's see how it go. So as I got to the job site today, they explained to me exactly what I was gonna be doing. I was really excited because I hadn't done this type of work before. So it was exciting to you know do something different and learn something different. All of these wires that you see are VFDs. Um, so if you guys don't know, VFDs stand for Variable Frequency Drive. Um, it's like a motor controller, so it controls the frequency and the voltage of everything. Um, all of these wires are going to a specific disconnect, so we got to make sure that all of the wires and the phases are numbered right and are organized right, going to the right section. So that's basically what I'm doing with all of this, and I'm trying to get everything taken care of today before the end of work. But uh, it's very tedious, and everything has to be nice and neat, done in the correct detail on both ends. So yeah, uh, right now I'm zip tying. The wires um, some are going on the right side and some are going on the left side uh, so my job right now is just to make sure that everything is nice and neat and everything is able to go into the right section so um, with the zip ties I just you know made sure it was tight enough so they wouldn't fall or anything like that but yeah it's very time-consuming you know just trying to make sure that everything is done right right now I'm cutting all of the zip ties just so you know everything could be nice and neat um, I was able to put six wires, you know, three, three at the back, three at the front, and uh, I think it looks pretty nice. It looks nice and neat to me. Uh, the people that I show, everybody said it looks nice also. So I'm doing the exact same thing on the left side. The left side has a lot more wires, so a little, it was a little tougher trying to get everything to fit in nice and neat, especially towards the bottom, it's because some of the wires got a little tangled. But um, I did the best that I could with it to try to make it look as neat and professional as I possibly could. And like I said, this was an exciting, exciting thing for me. You know, they let me do this on my own. I was the only one in there. And um, yeah, I was kind of, I was proud of myself, you know, start to finish on how I was able to get it taken care of. But right now I'm also cutting some of the zip ties on this one. Um, I used my diagonal cutters on the last one, but they had me use another smaller cutter um, just so it won't, it won't cut you or anything like that. Uh, right now, um, going to lunch real quick. About to eat my food. Had some fish, rice, and some asparagus. Now it's time to get back to work. And this is how it looks from right now. I think it looks really, really nice. Um, wasn't we still hadn't terminated everything because now I have to label all of the phases of the wires so that they can match the other side of the disconnects where the wires are going to. So this was very time consuming. We had to make sure all of their numbers were going to the correct phases: the ground, phase one, phase two, and phase three. And we also had our communication wires also that um, we had to label. So this whole process was time consuming. Um, but like I said, I wanted to make sure it was done right, you know, because um, I wanted it to go well. You know, this is my first time, like I said, of me doing this by myself. And I was confident I could do it. I just, you know, took it step by step and, you know, just kind of tried to just do everything right. We also had to heat shrink the labels on there also, just so they won't fall off or anything like that. And at the, it was my first time using the heat shrink, and that thing does get hot. So it was already 4.30, wasn't able to terminate everything, but, but I did get a lot done today, so I was happy about that. Now it's time to clean up. Um, I see a lot of stuff all the time about electricians not cleaning up. But where I work, we clean up, we take care of all of our stuff. So uh, it's very important for me to leave this place better than I found it. So picking up all of the zip ties that I cut, um, putting all of this trash to the side, and just trying to get it ready for tomorrow when I come back there and hopefully be able to terminate it. I didn't see a broom, but I finally found one. And yeah, 
that was it for the day. Uh, I was able to do all of this by myself. I was excited about it. I was working on VFDs for the first time, so I was excited about that. Truly grateful for the opportunity. Um, you know, I don't know. I got a long way to go, so that was it for the day. Um, getting ready to clean this up, head back to the shop, head to the crib, and um, next time to go be a family man and go to the gym. So I'll see you at the gym. Let's go.